The battery is the root of every modern technology tree. Batteries are used in devices as diverse as hard pacemakers and smartwatches, as well as vehicles that run on electricity, but we don't always have constant access to a power source. With the widespread journey of technological advancements in the battery industry in recent years, competition has become fierce. Even though there are many tried-and-true battery materials already available, a new one has recently emerged on the market and is generating a lot of buzz. Typically, a nuclear diamond battery will last for around 28,000 years. Why is everyone talking about this mysterious new battery and what is it? Here's the video update on the progress of the revolutionary nuclear diamond battery. Although the thought of nuclear materials makes many people uneasy due to the radiation they produce, the contaminants of nuclear power plants could one day provide the world's most reliable source of clean energy. Compared to the classic lithium-ion batteries, nuclear diamond batteries are a significant improvement. Lithium-ion batteries have been a major factor in the proliferation of electronic devices, but they are not without drawbacks that have prompted researchers to keep looking for alternatives. The shortcomings of lithium-ion batteries can be most clearly observed in electric vehicles. Lithium-ion batteries are bulky because they need to store a lot of energy in a small package. Some people are hesitant to purchase electric cars because they can't travel as far as gas-powered vehicles on a single tank of gas. Furthermore, lithium-ion batteries have a long charging time. The battery may take up to an hour to fully charge, even with the quickest charger. It's not ideal when compared to the mere minutes it takes to fill up a car's gas tank. Lithium-ion batteries, the most costly component of an electric vehicle, are still quite pricey despite significant price reductions in recent years. Most people can't afford electric vehicles because their battery makes them so much more expensive compared to cars powered by conventional internal combustion engines. Lithium batteries also have a longevity issue. Degradation is a problem shared by all lithium-ion batteries, causes them to gradually lose their power. Battery life degrades over time in many electronic devices, but it's especially noticeable in smartphones. Taking out your three-year-old smartphone will reveal that it doesn't perform as well as it did when it was new. When an electric car's battery reaches a certain percentage of capacity, replacement is required even the vehicle itself is in good condition. However, this action does not come cheap. Scientists have been trying out a lot of different materials and mixes for batteries to find the best one. For example, there has been a lot of interest in solid-state batteries, which are an improved version of lithium-ion batteries that are safer last longer and have a higher energy density. Researchers have also looked at graphene batteries, lossless batteries, and many other types of batteries. No one knows how long nuclear diamond batteries will last for sure. These batteries can last for thousands of years and are good for the environment because they use something that could be harmful. Imagine that the battery in your phone will last for 28,000 years. In that case, the phone won't last as long as the battery. Scientists from the University of Bristol got together in 2016 to work on something they called a beta-voltaic device. It was called Beta Decay because it was powered by nuclear waste. People began calling them radioactive diamond batteries, though. Beta Decay happens when an atom's nucleus has too many particles and lets some of them go so that the ratio of protons to neutrons is more stable. This creates beta radiation, which is a type of ionizing radiation made up of a lot of electrons or positrons moving very quickly and with a lot of energy. Between the semiconductors in a typical metavoltaic cell are thin layers of radioactive material. As the nuclear material breaks down, it releases beta particles that knock electrons loose in a semiconductor creating an electric current. On the other hand, a radioactive source has less power per unit area the farther away from the semiconductor it is. This means that nuclear batteries are much less efficient than other kinds of batteries. But this problem can be fixed with polycrystalline diamond or PCD. Radioactive batteries are made through a process called chemical vapor deposition. This is the same way that fake diamonds are often made. Researchers have changed the process so that it is now possible to grow radioactive diamonds by using radioactive methane with a radioactive isotope, carbon-14, that can be taken from graphite blocks that have been exposed to radiation. These diamonds can be both a radioactive source and a semiconductor. When beta radiation hits a battery, it makes the battery last longer and stops needing to be charged. 
It is powered over and over again by the nuclear waves inside it, so it can charge itself for a very long time with little or no change. In theory, you could use a single battery for more than a thousand years without having to replace it or change it. Nano Diamond Battery, or NDB, is a company that is working on nuclear diamond batteries. The company's batteries are made with high-powered alpha, beta, and neutron voltaic formulas based in diamonds. These formulas are used to make batteries that last a long time and use green energy. Its goal is to be able to power everything from small insulin pumps to space rovers that can travel across the surface of Mars without human help for decades. NDB has been making its nuclear diamond batteries by stacking nano diamonds that are so small that they can't be seen with the naked eye. One nanometer is equal to one billionth of a meter, which is important to know. The company likes diamonds because they are very good at getting rid of heat, which makes them perfect for electronics. In fact, they are the best natural heat conductor and work three to four times better than copper or silver. Chemical vapor deposition uses gases at very high temperatures to force carbon crystals to form on a material called a substrate. This is how these diamonds are made, but the diamonds that come out of this process are blue and conduct electricity better than most diamonds. Blue diamonds can be found in nature, but they are rare and more expensive than those that are made in the lab. So after getting the nano diamonds, NDB mixes them with radioactive isotopes from nuclear waste. NDB uses waste from radioactive power plants that contains radioactive isotopes of uranium and plutonium. From there, single crystal diamonds that are only a few square millimeters in size move heat away from their radioactively decaying isotopes so quickly that the process creates electricity. The energy from the decay sources is transferred to the NDB transducer, which turns the kinetic energy of the radiation that hits it into electrical energy. Each battery cell can only make a small amount of energy, but a lot of them can be put together to power large devices all the time. The CEO of NDB, Nima Golsharifi, says that the small size of the nano diamond battery cells is a good thing for scaling. For example, a small NDB cell is perfect for a wristwatch that uses about 2 microwatts. But if you need to power something else, you can stack more cells to meet the demand. Golsharifi thinks that the nuclear diamond battery could be used to power satellites or other spacecraft. The twin Voyager probes from NASA are a great example of something that doesn't use much power. When they took off in 1977, they were each powered by three radioisotope thermoelectric generators with a power output of several hundred watts. Each generator's power output started in 158 watts, which is less than what is needed to power a household light fixture for a year. After decades in space, the Voyagers are slowly losing power, so NASA has been turning off parts to keep them running as long as possible. They might not last another 10 years and then we will never be able to talk to them again. But if they are powered by nuclear diamond batteries, they can keep going for what seems like forever. Here on Earth, electronic devices like hearing aids that are implanted in the body only need to be put in place once. When the batteries run out, they don't need to be replaced, which would require surgery. Elon Musk's Neuralink brain-computer interface can also be made to work with nuclear diamond batteries, which don't need to be charged often. NDB wants to make a smartwatch its first commercial product. The watch should come out sometime in 2022. If that really happens, you could have one watch with one battery and pass it down for generations without ever having to replace it. Talk about an electronic heirloom. We get that NDB isn't ready to spill the beans and every last detail of its nuclear diamond batteries just yet. Nuclear diamond batteries, for instance, are just not a pipe dream, but we still don't know much about their power density. They are useful products, and recycling nuclear waste in this way is beneficial to the planet. The cost and difficulty of safely storing the nearly 95,000 metric tons of graphite blocks in the United Kingdom, for instance, can be reduced by extracting carbon-14 from them. What do you think? Do you think it is a good idea to use nano-diamonds as a replacement for our current batteries today? Write your thoughts in the comments below and if you like this video, consider subscribing to our channel and don't forget to click the notification bell to keep you updated on our new videos. That is all for today. We'll see you in the next video.